first month doing this body of work and creating it to tell my story for so many reasons. And so this show is called Unmasked. And essentially this show is about uh, sharing the many experiences of my neurodivergent brain but also making connections with neurotypical needs because our needs are not that much different. And so, Marianne saw my flyer and said she was coming. I was like, okay, well who else can we bring? <laughs> so then, Zami Nobla, Zami Nobla did their, uh, the, the, the year, the, the gathering for the year for us to get together and mobilize. And I, um, I said, well, let's do a gathering because I'm very much about community and creating spaces for us to gather um, safely and warmly. And so you're blessing my show. What you see on the walls is typically not what the art world says I should be, which is they want to pigeonhole you into one style. But I just told you I was ADHD. I ain't got one style, I'm Master Benny. <laughs> and so I was being, I was trying to be like, I do Master Benny. So please don't make me small. And so I was telling the story as I continue to tell a story all my life for my little girl and for every young person and for every growing person. Because we still have to attend to the stories we were told when we were young, even when we were 70, 80, 90 years old.
mom live with autism at varying degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we all day just going to see what you did. Yeah. We don't have to make it fluffy. We're saying it, it's clear. And so I can rely on what hands do, not just the what your hands do, but what you do to impact the world around you. So even if I'm, uh, and, I, and I say hands, extremities, or the appendages that you use to manipulate the world around you because um, everybody doesn't have hands. But I focus on hands for a million reasons. Look at my hands. I'm a big girl, I got big hands. And, I didn't, was not told that my hands are beautiful. My best friend used to go, come on, man, hands, come on, man, hands. And so every story that I'm doing is about, actually, no, it's beautiful. So look at my hands create. So when I look at my hands, I redefine beauty, right? For whatever it is that fits me. Everything is about affirming me and the world around me. And then I think of hands. Hands, these hands act as full person, they're the full personage. Like, I can look at what you do and know more about you than what your face says, what your, anything you say, how you look, what, you, what how much money you have, what you're wearing. It's all about what we're doing in the world. And so I use hands as a full representation of um, humanity. And so when you see like a piece like that over there, uh, which is called Rising Again, um, those hands could be whole bodies, the way they're standing, the way they're positioned. It's like three of us standing, facing Lord. And then when you see hands right there, everybody's going to see something different uh, as to what those hands represent. And in this piece right here, in the corner, which is called Fog Light, with a woman, and I thought that I liked the way her hands were moving in, and yes, she's had a life, she's regal, her body is contorting in such a way where it makes her look down. But look at the light inside of her. Yeah. Look at the regality that she moves with. Yeah. Look at the texture and experience in her world. Yeah. And what you'll notice repeatedly is this, which is a fog. You're going to see it in a lot of this work. Uh, that's the old to trying to catch my thought. Because you know, some people may say it's age, but me, I don't walk around. Uh, and, and that's a normal occurrence for me and I have to make love with those parts of myself and so I give you fog in all of these pictures because I'm constantly trying to catch the thought, catch the focus additionally, one more thing about the hands what did my wife say? my hands are what? I, it was deep <laughs> I didn't know this about myself I use my hands and movement to rest. So if I need to take a nap, because naps don't come to me easily, I go mow the lawn. And if I really need to nap, I go pull weeds. So my mental rest when I'm exhausted is probably mostly mental. And moving my hands and being kinesthetic and moving my body is how I rest. And